Right, quick video today of me wall mounting a Sony AG9 or A9G OLED TV. It's a 55 inch. Uh, I'm just going to get the heavy things out of the top of the box to start with. So we've got the remote and the instruction book pack first. Plastic panels for the back of the television when it's on its pedestal. And the two metal sort of feet that go into the pedestal base. Or pegs we could call them. So polystyrene out the top to make the box easier to lift off. And there's those four plastic lugs securing the box to the base of the box. Lift the box off. I'm going to lay the box down flat, put some of the polystyrene back in it for stability, and I can use it as a workbench to fix my bracket to the back of the television. metal pedestal base itself and the power lead which is an IEC mains lead. I'm going to carefully lift it. I would advise two people to lift that TV up because it's quite delicate I would have thought. I'm going to carefully lay it flat on the box. Now open up the bag there so I can get to the back of the TV. It's the arms from my old bracket which I shall reuse. Visa Mountain is 300 by 300 square. Four M6 20mm bolts coming out of the back of that TV. They've got retaining washers on them and I shall use them to reattach the arms to the TV. Gently fix those arms to the TV and I'll just nip them up while I push up any slack in the arms I'll push upwards. Quick close up in the back. So that's the plate I've removed from the wall, which I will reuse. So I need to get a dimension from the bottom of that plate to the bottom of the TV. I can mark where I want the bottom of the TV to where the bottom of that plate is in relation. Make a mark. Okay, so plate back on the wall. I know where I want the bottom of the plate to be. I've got my spirit level on the top. So I can level the bracket and mark positions for my new holes.
I've got concrete screws again. I'm just going to mark the depth on my drill using some black tape. So I only drill the necessary length of the bolt or screw. Dust pan underneath, drill a six mil hole. Okay, so bracket back on the wall. I'm just going to loosely finger tighten some of those concrete screws into the wall. I will put a link for those screws in the description as well if anybody wants any. Next I'll use my impact driver just to nip up one of those screws. Get the spirit level on the top, level up the bracket, and then secure the rest of the screws. Just gently feel around the bracket when those screws are all nipped up. You can just feel then that the bracket is secure and in place. It's not going to come away from the wall. Okay, so I've taped the cables out of the way there. So I've got a clear path and I would recommend two people to mount that TV. I'll just give it a quick slide to make sure it's firmly on that rail and it's not going to fall off. And while I've got my hand underneath, I'm actually going to look underneath or behind it just to be sure that I am securely on that bracket there. Okay, so the next step is to um, install my cables, well, to fit the cables to the TV. I've got two HDMIs, a Cat6 for wired internet, aerial and composite connections from my Nintendo Wii. Okay, so that's about it. That's the view of the side. With my tape there, I can see from the wall to the front of the TV, it comes off about 65 mil or two and a half inches. You could maybe use a lower profile bracket because none of those connections are going directly into the back. They're either going into the side or vertically underneath. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.